happens very rarely. Did you get your water yet? No, no not yet, thank you. Water would be great, I've, I've been working out. I feel like I've been doing a whole bunch of cardio here in Bergdorf. <laughs> Which one Thank did you, you go with? The pink one and the nautical one. You got both? Yeah. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing my designer bag collection. My new and noteworthy pieces. So I thought as I'm back home, now is the perfect opportunity to do one of these kind of videos. I've had so many requests from you guys to do a video like this, but when I'm traveling I don't really take that many bags with me. And also I want to tell you the stories behind the bags because let's be honest, that's the most interesting part, right? I also want to unbox this Hermes bag with you guys. If you like this video give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below. Come for my weekly videos on fashion, lifestyle, and travel. And let's get into the video. Okay, let's first start off with this beautiful flat bag from Chanel. I got this actually for Christmas uh, in 2019, and I wore it when I went to Japan, and I thought it was so cool because it's a little bit different to the classical style. I love this kind of quilted effect. I like the size of it. It's definitely not a bag you'd wear going out, but it's one of those bags that just fits so much in and, and oversize is very cool. I obviously stuff the bag so that it keeps its shape. It's effortlessly stylish. It kind of looks a little bit off duty because it's not so structured and it's soft and it fits so much in it. I wore it a lot. I haven't been wearing it that much recently just because when I'm traveling, I tend to use my tote bag, my little Dior tote but it's definitely something I would wear this autumn winter now and I love it, it was a great purchase. Okay, so this one is my favorite color. It is stunning and I never actually wore it. It has the tags, it has the sticky label on the top here. There's, there's two reasons why I haven't worn it yet. I remember it was a very impulsive purchase when I was in Vegas, when I was watching the Lady Gaga concert. It was the day I was about to fly out and I was like, oh, it was in the back of my head, this beautiful turquoise color bag and I was just like, I can't leave without it. It used to be the color of my branding on my blog and it was so beautiful and pristine and I got it in winter. And I think the reason I wasn't wearing it was because I was so careful with it. I didn't want to ruin it, which sounds ridiculous. And then I ended up getting a Kelly bag that was the same color, so I always favored that one. Anyway, I'm gonna bring it out. I'm gonna wear it. I'm determined to wear it. We're working our way up towards my very favorite Chanel bag. So this one, I need to remember the story of this one. Oh yes, oh yes. I bought this one in a white in Paris and we did some serious damage in Chanel <laughs> like serious damage we bought so much stuff in the store that we had people coming out like two two or three people coming out with the bags to put them in the car <laughs> slow down a bit slow down you're going too fast yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, that was a moment. I bought it in a white, and then I thought to myself, Emma, white you know is gonna end up getting ruined, you're going to get it really dirty, so why don't you go for the black? So when I went to London, I exchanged it for the black. The reason I also was worried about the white was that because of the way you hold this bag, you can hold it here. I thought this, if it was in white, it would get really dirty. So I thought I'd be safe, and I don't actually have a simple black Chanel handbag, so I thought why not start here, and I love this one. I love it because it's a bit more interesting than the just plain flap Chanel bag, it's something different. Let me show you the next one. So this is a really cute little pink Chanel bag that I got in London, in Harrods. I had some credit and I thought, why not? And uh, it's so pretty, it's dainty, it's small, and I wear it a lot in the summer. A little bit creased here, which is a shame. You really need to stuff the bags when you put them away. I just think it's classic. It's probably the most classic one I have. I think it's very pretty and I love the color. Moving on to the juicy story. So I got this beautiful Chanel bag in New York. Very exciting trip. What did we do? Oh, I went to an Elton John concert, which was incredible. I was staying at the, which hotel was it? The Four Seasons. They have a Bloomingdale's, I think, right next to the Four Seasons in New York. Bloomingdale's or Saks. I think it might be a Saks. And so I popped in and I saw this bag and I was trying on some clothes firstly, because I thought maybe I'll get some clothes, an outfit for the evening. And I was trying on different looks, but I was very rushed and I couldn't find anything that I really loved. And I knew that I'd packed something that was like a backup dress. And I was like, I'm gonna wear that. Of course, I was in New York and I wanted to pick up something to remember my trip. So I 
got this. Chanel have stopped selling exotic leathers for obvious reasons. So I do believe the price of this now has gone up a lot. I haven't worn it that much though. Again, it's one of these bags I feel is really special. It's this gorgeous raspberry color. It's actually exactly the same style as the turquoise one. <laughs> I, I remember wearing this in New York and I was wearing a really cool look on the bridge. It was inspired by Elsa Hosk. And yeah, I really thought this bag went so well with it. Um, but yeah, I, have, I don't wear it that much. Maybe you guys should let me know if I should wear it. And this one, guys, is the most special Chanel bag I have. It is stunning. So beautiful. I love this nautical look. The shop assistant is asking me, which one do you want? Which bag you get? And I'm like, I'm getting both. <laughs> Why I gotta choose? I'm getting both. <laughs> so yeah, I got this one and this one at the same time. I haven't got anything like this. Just thought this was so unique. It's definitely a wow statement bag. It's a wow bag. I can't put much into it. You have to be selective. My phone definitely doesn't fit inside. Lipstick, passport, what else do you need? I've actually sold a few Chanel bags. What I noticed with Chanel is that you really don't lose money with Chanel. When you buy a Chanel bag, they really hold their value, which is why I never feel like I'm wasting money when I'm buying a Chanel bag, because I know that when I get tired of it, as long as it's in good condition, I'll just sell it for the same, if not more. And then I got this beautiful one in London, baby blue, my favorite color. It's still in perfect condition. I don't wear it that often. I am looking for a smaller one. I really want the 25 inch. It's my next on my wish list. Then I have this Kelly, which my friend Irina said looks very old. So I don't really wear this anymore. Should we do the Hermes unboxing now? I think so. Dun -da -da. Now, I have to be honest with you. I have worn already. I actually received a little while ago, but I never unboxed it on camera. And you know, whenever I get a new Hermes bag, which is rare, it's not often, that I like to do an unboxing. So I feel like this one didn't get the credit it deserves. If you have a really good eye, you may have seen this on my Instagram. This beautiful ostrich leather Hermes Clarence bag. I believe. I, I call it Clarence, but I feel like it's something else. Constance. <laughs> that is so embarrassing, guys. You can come at me in the comments. I bought it in New York, but it was shipped to LA for Christmas, so I can unbox it there. It's an exotic rouge. That I remember. Beautiful red color. You can make it shorter, or you can make it longer. I wore this in Yorkshire on a trip, and I thought it was beautiful, but it's so special to me in this ostrich red leather. I'm always afraid to ruin it or scratch it. So it's just been literally collecting dust in my wardrobe, but I hope to bring it out more often. And with every purchase of Hermes, there are hurdles to jump. <laughs> if you are into your Hermes bags, you'll know that it's very hard to get hold of an Hermes bag. It's rare that you can walk into a shop and they'll just have some waiting for you. The only time really they will do that is if you are shopping with them a lot and that you've booked an appointment or you have a personal shopper there or by chance they like in Saint-Tropez recently they actually had a 35 inch Birkin in a beautiful turquoise color it was very similar to my Kelly but this one was obviously a Birkin and I thought oh my god do I, I want this and they actually they had it in store only because someone had cancelled their order usually you don't get that anyway I didn't end up getting that bag but I'm still on the hunt for the 25 inch. And uh, yeah, so maybe in, I'm going to Paris soon, so hopefully then we'll find something. So this bag I wore recently in London, I got this one when I was in Sardinia actually. I thought this was so pretty, it really caught my eye. At the moment I'm really into shiny things. Yeah, I think it's really beautiful. And I also showed you this more simple black bag from Prada, which is just a classic and I think it is so nice, it elevates a look. I love the simplicity of it, very minimalist. Then I wanted to show you these two little Dior bags. One is in satin and one is in this other kind of patent material. And which one do you think I wear more often? <laughs> Definitely this one because this one is a lot more durable. You don't have to worry about spilling anything on it because it's just gonna wipe right off. Whereas this one, you know, if you spill anything on it, stain, if it gets stained or anything, it's gonna be really difficult to remove. But seeing that with the right dress, I think this will look beautiful. Yeah, I have this beautiful little turquoise clutch, but I am actually gonna get this one cleaned um, because it's got a little bit dirty, but it's so beautiful. Again, it's that turquoise color that I love. So pretty, and it just opens up like this. I love the Lady Dior bag. I have this one in white. 
It also comes with a like the shoulder thing, the shoulder strap, which is a really nice way to customize. It does need cleaning, so I'm gonna be taking this one to the repair shop as well. I'm gonna whiz through these ones very quickly because you saw this one already. I'll show you this one really quickly. As you know, I got this one recently. I'll put the video here if you haven't seen it. This one also is just like something I wear when I'm running errands and it's just so easy. It's this blue Prada bag, nylon. I love the nylon range. It's sustainable, eco-friendly. And then this bag from Louis Vuitton is cute, but absolutely fits nothing in it. Again, lipstick in your card, nothing much. Maybe a little vibrator, it's a small one. <laughs> and it has this strap that goes around. I think it's really cute. I don't have many Louis Vuitton bags. I don't know why. This was a purchase inspired by Irina. We were in Mykonos and she was like, Emma, you need to get this one. And she got like a bigger one and a red. She ended up selling that one. <laughs> By the way, if ever you wonder where I sell my clothes, I'll put a link in the description box below so you can check it out. Also, Arena puts clothes there and stuff so you can always check it out. And you can also put a link to where you can rent some of the clothes. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Oh my God, what a roller coaster of emotions with these stories and these bags. I love hearing your feedback. So let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite which story was your favorite and I'll see you in my next one. Oh yes, and don't forget to hit subscribe below, give a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I used to be good at YouTube. I could do all these thumbnails. I think I lost it, <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna get back on track.